Hello, welcome to EPG Partshala. Today we are going to discuss module number 19 that is ICT in education, information and communication technology in education. It is difficult to imagine future education without technology. As we live in globalized era, we are all can see the technological changes happening around. They have created a new global economy which is supported by technology, information and knowledge. This influenced educational institutions also. In this connection, some technologies like TV and radio as well as some newer technologies like computer and internet have been proven as an essential tool for educational change and reform to strengthen the education then to raise educational quality by making teaching learning process as an active process connected to real life. In this technology era, we all make use of internet and computers and basically we make use of technology. We find for the information through internet, we take online tickets or we make use of smart cards to buy tickets. We do online shopping, we communicate through email, fax, telephone, etc. So this ATM, computer, internet, fax, telephone, mobile, all these are nothing but technologies and especially we are making use of this technology for managing information. Here managing information means to create, to process, to de uh, disseminate, to manage information. So that is nothing but information and communication technology. So let us discuss the concept of information and communication technology in detail. First of all, we will see what is information. Information that which is understood, communicated and processed. When we talk about technology, technology is the process of using material, scientific and human resources to meet our need or purpose. So basically information technology is nothing but making use of information to meet our human need or purpose. And when we integrate one more element that is nothing but communication, so it becomes information and communication technology. Let us see some of the definition of information and communication technology. ICT that is abbreviation of information and communication technology is that technology which uses information to meet human need or purpose including reference to the use of contemporary devices. So here it highlighted here it emphasizes the use of contemporary devices because ICT is not restricted to the available technology today. Every day newer technologies are coming up and even in future we will be having newer technologies. ICT stands for information and communication technologies and defined as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate, to create, disseminate, store and manage information. We make use of ICT in education that is we use devices like computer, LCD projectors, smart boards, smartphones, tablet, internet, educational satellite like EduSat in education. We also make use of softwares like Microsoft Word which is word processing software or Microsoft Excel which is spreadsheet software or Microsoft PowerPoint or Crazy which are presentation software, even Skype like video conferencing softwares. So we make use of all these softwares in education. We do use technologies like video conferencing and virtual classroom etc. We also make use of tools and resources like email, chat room, blog, wikis and Facebook. The list is ongoing. It includes all contemporary devices and technologies. So list is not limited to today's technology and it is updating with changing technology. All these devices, tools, technologies all together help in processing, collecting, storing, disseminating, managing information. So this is nothing but information and communication technology in education. Now specifically we will see the definitions of ICT in education. ICT implies the technology which consists of electronic devices and associated human interactive material that enable the user to employ them for a wide range of 
teaching learning processes in addition to personal use. Next definition is information and communication technology in education is the processing of information and its communication facilities and features that variously support teaching learning and a range of activities in education. So basically ICT in education is using all the type of technologies, tools, devices in different activities in education. Let us study about characteristics of ICT in education now. First characteristic is hardware and software approach. ICT in education is any hardware and software technology that contribute in the educational information processing. In the context of present era, ICT mainly comprises of hardware like PC, keyboard, projector, CD, etc. and also softwares like various programs, packages and e-learning strategies. Second characteristic is ICT includes information technology. ICT in education is any information technology that focuses on the application, storage, manipulation, management, transmission or reception of information required for the educational purpose. For example, when we are using database management for students records for their admission, updating their curricular and co-curricular activities, we are actually using information technology. Second characteristic is ICT includes communication technology. ICT in education is any technology that helps in communication of teaching learning process. So, uses of electronic learning technologies like teleconferencing, PowerPoint presentations or communication technologies which is part of ICT. ICT includes educational technology. This is next characteristic of ICT in education. ICT in education is any educational technology that is applied in the educational process. It incorporates hardware approach as well as software approach. So basically educational technology is nothing but ICT in education. ICT can be applied in all types of education. So, it includes online, distance and part-time education. ICT can be used for providing education to the people who are not able to come to school due to various constraints. So, ICT can be applied in different educational settings like formal education, non-formal and informal education. After completing this all the characteristics of ICT in education, we will move further and discuss about significance of ICT on education. First is individualized instruction. As we all know, due to overcrowded classrooms, it is highly impossible for the teachers to provide individualized instructions. But ICT helps the teacher to uh, provide all the facilities and to make it possible to provide individualized instructions. ICT enables to cater to individual needs of the students and teacher can provide them experiences as per their learning style, as per their interest and their need. With the help of online tutoring and with the help of computer assisted instruction, students can be given individualized instruction. Second significance is ICT proves to be cost effective. ICT reduce the cost of education from very high to very low. Of course, initial investment is high. It is definitely very cost effective op option for longer period as it reaches to masses. ICT also helps to shift the focus on learning. This is another significance of ICT in education. As we all know, modern teaching or modern education is learner centered. So, the emphasis has to be on learning. ICT helps to explore knowledge to learn the content through self-study. Teacher can help the students by ensuring the right direction towards effective learning. Next significance is wider range of communication media. With the advent of ICT, different means of communication are being introduced in the teaching learning process. Offline learning, online learning, blended learning, these are some options available that can be used in educational institutions. Collaborative learning and individualized learning can enhance the quality of group as well as individual learning. Next significance is ICT is distance and climate insensitive. It means it doesn't matter where you are or how the weather is. You can still access and learn from ICTs. With the advanced advancement of ICT, education doesn't remain restricted within the four walls 
of the educational institutions. This would result in the enriching learning experiences. It also solved the problem of geographical barriers. We all know to maintain national system of education, everybody should be provided uniform quality of education and it is possible only through ICT. If content is well produced and is of good quality, the same quality can be delivered to rich and poor. The urban and rural equally and at the same low cost. This definitely brings uniform quality of education. ICT makes teaching learning process interesting. ICT can be utilized for better teaching learning process and improve quality of education. Using multimedia in education results in the increasing productivity and retention rates. As we all know, there are variety of tools and technologies available. So, ICT provides various tools which can be utilized for the knowledge creation and dissemination in the modern world. Tools include radio, TV, internet, mobile phone, computer, laptop, tablets and many other hardware. Similarly, there are many software applications available for education purpose. Quick access to updated information. Information can be accessed in seconds by connecting to internet and surfing through web pages. This helps the teachers and students to learn the updated content. Even teachers can keep themselves updated to the latest teaching learning strategies and related technologies. So, ICT has been proven as very important tool in education. Now, we shall discuss about the scope of ICT in education in various areas like teaching learning process, evaluation, research and administration. First area is teaching learning process. ICT has a significant importance in teaching learning process. It facilitates the students and teachers in communication process. Basically, it has made distance education possible and effective. There are various options or alternatives available. The first option or alternative is computer assisted learning. It's nothing but an in interactive instructional technique whereby the computer is used to present the instructional material and monitor the learning that takes place. So, through computer assisted learning, students can learn specific topic from various subjects on computer. They can learn as per their own pace and interest. So, learning becomes very interesting and interactive. It can be done through various modes like tutorial, simulations, animations, drill and practice, games, etc. We will be learning more about CI or CL in module number 22. The another alternative that is computer based training. It is used for training in the workplace, maybe health and safety training or how to use a piece of machinery or it could be a flight simulation course or even how to use a piece of software. So, these are options available. Basically, skill based tra uh, computer based training is basically to develop and master different skills. Even students can be given opportunity to talk to experts interact with the students from different countries with the help of video conferencing or chat room. As we all know, online courses are offered through which students can learn online, either through online lectures or recorded videos. There are many games available, but educational games are of great importance, which are available through offline and online modes, which mix teaching learning process as fun. There are different presentation softwares which are popular to present the content using multimedia approach. PowerPoint presentations, Prezi, etc. These are some options available. Even emails can be used to support classroom teaching by sharing material and improving interactions with students. Discussion forum is another alternative which is available. Teachers can form discussion forum on various topics and involve the students in learning by way of discussion. As we all know, social networking is in demand and very popular. So, Facebook, blog, wiki, these social media is very helpful for teachers and students to develop networking and learn through collaborations. There are so many websites available which provides videos, YouTubes, images, content, simulations, notes, e.g. books, journals, even lesson plans everything which are very helpful for the students to do self-study. Another important area is administration. So, even here computer is of great help. You can make class timetable with the help of available softwares 
which makes this tedious work very easy. You can manage students attendance records. So, database management like Microsoft Access is of great help here. Even you can manage cumulative records. Administration of financial matters may become easy by using softwares like Tally. So, you can manage even financial records. In fact, online admissions, generation of admit card, attendance, everything becomes easy and accurate by using various softwares available. Nowadays, biometric techniques like fingerprint recognition or retina scans are used for teachers as well as students. There are n number of softwares available for the school management purpose. Next important area is evaluation. ICT play a major role in evaluation. It helps in generating test, implementing the test, scoring and reporting. So, once the learning is completed, the test that is online test is given which the computer generates as per student's capacity. So, the test is implemented through computer also. Then, computer can do scoring of it and even teachers can take help of computer for reporting the result and making grades on the test. So, teachers will get updated information related to research from such websites. Teachers can collect data through internet survey. Even teachers can do related uh, review of related re uh, research through some of the database like Eric or Shodhaganga etc. Teachers can do her analysis with the with the help of SPSS or Minitab softwares. Teachers can even make use of computers for report writing and very important is collaboration that is important aspect of research. So, even you can do collaborative research by using some social networking media or maybe discussion forum or simple email option. And when you are doing research, you need to share it with the entire world or especially the stakeholders. So, teachers can share her work with society, parents, other teachers by using various options available through internet. So, today we have discussed about ICT and specifically we discussed about ICT in education. So, now I hope you understood the concept of ICT and especially you will be able to justify the significance of ICT in education. Then we studied scope of ICT in various areas like teaching learning process, administration, evaluation and research. Thank you.